the language itself is important because the culture is in the language. I mean, uh, the, easy, the most easily transmitted, to me at least, uh, transmission agent is songs. Well, singing Yiddish songs in translations are usually pretty uncomfortable and are not especially satisfying. Um, but seeing them in, in the, the language and when you start understanding just what those words mean and how deep they are. So as I'm moving forward, you know, it, what's important about the language itself is transmission. I mean, it's, now do I think that everyone is going to speak Yiddish? No. Do I speak Yiddish fluently? No. So how do we, how do we transmit it? How do we continue? Well, uh, we're in what we believe to be the world's largest Yiddish chorus. Uh, a better welt, a better world, um, which we helped found, which is part of the Workman Circle. Uh, we originally found it to be a, a children's chorus because we thought, again, how do you transmit it? What's the strongest way to transmit it? Through song. Didn't work out. We didn't get enough kids, so we started saying, okay, it'll be a mixed chorus. And we're 90-some-odd people who uh, sing a lot of progressive Yiddish songs. Um, and we go, you know, I remember one time, you know, why do we sing in Yiddish? Well, one time we were singing in a, we were asked to perform in a Haitian church, or in a Cape Verdean church, um, and uh, for a, some sort of program. And we were asked to sing because we were progressive and, you know, and there we were singing. And we, of course, as part of our program, we always translate the songs, otherwise <laughs> you're not transmitting, you know. And we sang um, Dirigel. And the audience went wild. A uh, song about rent money, Dirigel. And you know, talking about why, why should we pay uh, rent money if the, the kitchen is broken, or, you know, if we don't have anything to cook on. And the Cape Verdeans went nuts when we translated. They said, we had no idea that you Jews who were so well off had the same experience as us. And you know, so that, you know, that connection, which can only come through those songs, which can only come through living, trying to, you know, I'm not going to take a vow of poverty. You know, <laughs> yes, we're well off, you know. But on the other hand, you can't forget the new groups coming up and what's going on and, and, and the fact that America was built on immigration and we were among the immigrants.